Hi, thanks for watching again. I wanted to start this video by saying a big hello to some big little fans I have out there. Um, there is Sarah and uh, Ella and Ava. So I just wanted to say thank you so much girls for watching and I'm glad you enjoy my videos. Um, and you know what, if you want me to do a special video, let me know and I'll do one for you girls. And if there's any other little ones out there, um, please let me know who they are and I will say hello to them because I really love them watching my videos. But for today's video, I am going to do a video on products that are either my all-time favourite, they're like oxygen to me, I need them to survive, um, or they're products which I discovered in 2012. So basically my absolute favourite products uh, that I carry all the time, all my personal favourites. Um, that, that's what we're going to go through today. I'm going to go through skincare right down to uh, lipsticks right at the end. But I will start off with my skin care, and it's not necessarily skincare, but it's things that I have in my kit. And in particular, is this first one, which I have used for years and years and years, and I'll continue to use for years and recommend it because it is phenomenal. It is my Bioderma. Praline H2O. This product is sensational. It, it does not irritate anybody's skin or anyone that I've ever used it on, and there's been many, many faces. Um, it doesn't irritate, it, it takes every little bit of makeup off. I cannot speak highly enough of it. So, definitely, my Bioderma has been a 2012 favorite and all time favorite, really. I will always stop this and always. Um, have it it's sensational the next one i would say is on the same lines it is a staple in my kit i have used it for years and will continue to use it for years and it's my embrya lease um late cream concentrate it is beautiful it's for all skin types i do often even use this as a primer so i'll use this on someone's skin and then put the foundation on top uh great for dry skin Good for oily skin, it absorbs really well, doesn't irritate, um, I haven't found anyone to break out on it. So great, great, simple, quite inexpensive um, moisturiser. These two are very difficult to find in uh, Australia. You can find them, but they're generally a little bit more expensive than what would you than what you pay uh, overseas, but you can purchase them online. So definitely worth it, these two. The next one is my REN, uh, the uh, Glycolactic Radiance Renew Renewal Mask. It is a favourite of mine, a personal favourite of mine. Um, I just know when my skin's looking dull, when it just looks horrible and I'm not liking it, I'll always pop this on the next day, even straight after. It looks like it's glowing, it looks fresh. Um, Amazing, amazing. Not that expensive, um, so definitely worth it. It's won awards, and I know why, because it is so good. Uh, so give it a go. I know other people have used it and have also said the same thing. It's a great, great mask. Uh, good, for, I think, for all skin types, and it's quite um, chemical-free. Like There's no petrochemicals, no sulfates, no parabens, synthetic fra fragrance, uh, no synthetic colours. It's a whole list of stuff. So it is really, really good. Definitely worth it. Like I said, it's not even that expensive. Now, moving on to applicators. I've only got a couple here to show you. Um, I use so, so many different brushes. So to choose my favorite, I can't do it. But these two have stood out for the year um, and are slowly becoming definitely favorites of mine. It's my Sheer Mirror Foundation Brush. That's number 18. It's goat hair. It's quite dense. Great for blending. Great for buffing. Uh, great for any cream application. So highlighter on the cheeks, your foundation, any, anything. It's brilliant. I really, really love it um, and use that one all the time. And also my Beauty Blender. So it's just this little pink sponge. Great for applying foundation, uh, especially a cream foundation. So really, really good. And also um, highlighter. So cream highlighter, anything like that for blending. Um, really, really good sponge. Be aware there is um, dupes of these, so you might think that you're purchasing a sponge that is like this, a beauty blender. It's not uh, most of the time the ones in pharmacies or like drugstores or anything like that. They're not the beauty blender that I found this to be my favourite. 
Uh, there is a shop in Brisbane called Makeup and Glow. This is where I buy mine from. I do get it online because I'm in Melbourne, but um, it's it's so easy to get from there. So definitely worth it. It's a beauty blender. Great, great product. So next, I'm going to talk about my favourite kind of bases or foundations. I will not say they're my favourite. Um, I generally use quite a few different ones. I mean, everyone has different types of skin, different colours, different textures. So for, the, for that reason, I have quite a few. Um, but these are ones that I've found that have stood out. I've kind of been a bit surprised and I will continue to use them because they're pretty, pretty good and I really, really like them. I'm going to start off with my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. I don't have this in my kit. I don't use it on clients, but I use it on myself. I love the texture of it, um, how it wears, and it's cheap. it's not that expensive. Um, this one I get from Priceline, which is like a drugstore, um, and it's not expensive. The formula reminds me a lot of the Pro Lumiere, the Chanel one, uh, which is being discontinued so it kind of uh, reminds me of that a little bit i really like it and i've enjoyed wearing it it, it really makes your skin feel um, radiant really really nice and it says it lasts 16 hours so definitely definitely worth it that one and the next one are my cinema secret foundations these are from america they're proper proper makeup um like professional makeup and they are sweat proof and waterproof so great for brides um great if you find you, you kind of run your foundation or does it eats it away really 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 good i am enjoying them um my makeup artist friend bernice introduced me to these and i really like them she raved about them and i thought i'll try them and i'm enjoying them they're really really good i love to finish people's face off with these because i think they give a great cover without it feeling cakey really really nice the next thing i'm going to show you uh, is just a eyeshadow palette i do use a lot of the mac ones quite often because um because i have so many palettes of them they're easy to transport so i do have a lot of them but this one is my, it's a new kind of discovery. It's the Yves Saint Laurent uh, Pure Chromatics. So it can be used wet and dry. And the colours that I've got, this is number eight. So it's beautiful kind of bronzy palette with a bit of khaki. These two I have used so much and they just look incredible on um, blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes, nearly everyone. They look really, really nice. They wear really well. And you can put them on wet. So if you put your brush in a bit of water and use it, it's a really intense color. So I am really liking those ones. So that's the number eight. Give those a go. They're really nice. Just a couple of other eyeshadows which I have just discovered uh, late in the year, last year. And they are the Burberry um, eyeshadows. They are incredible. I have to say I tried them and they wear so well. They do not crease. It is a powder, but even it being a powder, it doesn't crease. They um, last all day and they blend really well. And they come in this little kind of pouch. So this beautiful Burberry print uh, pouch. And then even the packaging, it's really luxurious. It's something that you'd spend that little bit of money on, but it's just beautiful. So the package comes with the Burberry. And the colour I've got is Dark Sable, so it's that one there, which is a browny kind of mahogany uh, colour, really, really nice. So I've got this one and I also bought the Trench, so number two and number 23. Definitely beautiful, they, they go really well. The Trench one is quite um, a neutral colour, a bit like uh, Brulee from MAC, but just that little, little bit more luxurious. Now for cheeks, um, we can't go past the NARS Laguna. It's a staple again in my kit. I have used it. This one it has seen better days, as you can see. It's ready to be um, changed. So definitely, definitely a great, great uh, bronzer. I even use it as eyeshadow sometimes. So I will forever be using that as long as it exists. Um, and the next thing is a blush from MAC. And it is this one. Now, I don't know if you can see that colour. It is the Spring Sheen uh, Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. So it does leave a bit of a shimmer. It's got a beautiful corally, goldy, pinky colour. Little, little bit like uh, Coralista, even a little bit like Orgasm. 
I just like the um, texture of this. I find it goes on really nice and blends really, really well. So great for tan skin. Um, even fair skin will wear this very, very well. Uh, but a really, really good summer uh, blush, which we are in now in Australia. So that's the um, blush. Now on top, uh, liners, eyeliners, I couldn't choose between these two and I think they're both very, very similar. So it doesn't matter which one you get. I think they're very, very close. It's um, the, which one's this one? The Revlon Grow Luscious and the Bourjois Contour Clubbing Waterproof. Both of them are very, very black and very, very creamy. So I like them. They stay on a long time and they're easy to blend if I need to. So I couldn't choose between the two, but those two are definite uh, favourites, especially if you love that really dark, dark uh, liner. Another product which has featured, I think, in every single video that I've done is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, I cannot find anything that comes close to this. I really, really like it. It's really hard to get a hold of in uh, Australia. I know there is a shop, I think, in Queensland. Um, I think it's like a beauty therapy shop or something like that that do sell them. I have uh, been able to find a place online um, just, just recently. So I'm going to, I think, continue to purchase it from there and love them. I will not change it because it's my favorite. Now this next product, I've already done a review on it, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. It's my Kevin Aquan Mascara. Uh, it is definitely a favorite of mine and one that I won't be able to do without because for brides, your, your um, mascara is not going to smudge all day. It will not flake, it will not smudge. Um, and I love the way it washes off. You just need the warm water and it kind of just comes off. So uh, I've already done a review on it and hopefully you've seen it, but great, great mascara. Now finally on to lips. Uh, lipstick, I think, is one product that you don't need to spend an awful lot on. I mean, if you do want to, or if you're a lipstick person, that's the thing that you always kind of go for. Uh, Tom Ford do some incredible lipsticks. Uh, Burberry does, Chanel does. So there are plenty out there for you. But if you just love to put on a little bit of lipstick, um, I suggest these. They are the um, Revlon Body Butters. And I know a lot of brides that I do end up purchasing these for the day because they wear really, really well. They don't dry your lips. They're not too, too glossy. Um, the colors are great. So definitely, definitely a favorite of mine. Um, I've got here the Pink Truffle, Creme Brulee, and Strawberry Shortcake. So, you know, they're always on sale at Priceline. So just go in there and get a few definitely worth it. I, I really, really enjoy it. So that is it. They are my can't do, can't live without products um, or 2012 discoveries. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, thank you so much, uh, Ella, Ava and Sarah for watching. I hope you girls enjoyed it. And to everyone else out there, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. Much appreciated. I will see you all soon. Bye.